。嗱，睇一列字文咧，相信大家都唔會反對啊。呢度真係美食天堂係咪啊？從凍奶茶到菠蘿油，從呢一個嘅宵夜打冷去到壽司魚生咧，呢度嘅美食啊，食足一年啊，我相信你都食唔曬。不過，諷刺嘅就係咧，喺呢個美食天堂嘅市中心咧，竟然有一個嘅 food bank 食物銀行喎。喺呢一集嘅多咗一部檔案裏面咧，我特別請嚟 Richmond Food Bank 嘅行政總監，同我哋分享一下佢哋嘅需要，同埋我哋啊，又點樣可以實際嘅行動幫助佢哋嚟到解決喺呢個城市有人食唔飽嘅問題。Hello, Koyonia. So we are so glad to have Hajira Hussein to to be with us again.、Uh, Hajira is executive director of Richmond Food Bank. Hajira, thank you for joining us today. It has also been almost a year since we interviewed you、uh, over Zoom last year. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you, Pastor Chen. This is this、great. is an honor.、Uh, it's great being here. Yeah, great. I still remember last year. Everything was new. Even Zoom was new.、Uh, after a year, I'm sure we are expert <laughs> in this, right? So here's my first question. So for the past year, how has COVID-19 changed the program focus at Richmond Food Bank? Um, since March 2020, our our whole program focus has been on、um, the safety of our people, so safety of our clients, safety of our volunteers, safety of staff, and everybody that、um, you know comes to the food bank. So that includes our community partners and as well as donors,、um, because we want to keep them safe. And for for that reason, we had to. Switch our grocery style model. So where people used to come in and choose their groceries, we switch that to a, a prepacked hamper model. And、um, now everything is like it's prepacked. People come in, we serve them at the door, and、um, you know that's how we've been we've been operating since March 2020.、Um, we we did suspend some of our offsite depots, but then we we as I think by June we. Reopened two of our offsite depots, and、uh, one of them is a, a drive-through accessible、um, location. So it, it's it's convenient. People are people are using it. About 40 families are using that option, and then、um, the East Richmond location that also is being、uh, u- utilized by about、um, 45 households. Overall, in、uh, like during a whole week, we serve close to. Um, 1,700 individuals. Wow, that's the、uh, significant numbers, especially in this challenging time. So,、um, as we enter into the second quarter, it's,、uh, it's already May now. So, what are some of the current needs and challenges at the food bank? Yeah.、Uh, Monetary donations are always a, a huge need because mon-、uh, you know、um, monetary donations allow us to purchase our most needed items when our supplies run low, and it also allows us to purchase the perishable items that our clients most、um, request. So,、um, so that definitely is one of our our most <laughs> needed item. But、um, in in addition to、um, those donations, we、um, we also Need food donation, so our,、um, you know that also、uh, is a constant need because、uh, food not only allows us to just you know supply our, our clients with the with the with the donations, but it also helps our our volunteers to to you know get into some meaningful work because. Right from when we pick up the donations to when we bring it back to the warehouse, and you know we have volunteers who are sorting, so it it gives them、um, something to do. So、mm. um, you know, food donations, monetary donations, they're all you know are you know needed.、Um, we also need volunteers. We are looking for、um, volunteer drivers, and、um, and it's springtime. We have、uh, resumed our Um, gardening operations at the four garden plots that we have available at Garrett Wellness Center. So we are also looking for people who are interested in gardening and helping us、uh, grow some some produce for our、um, for our clients. Oh, that's great! And, and, and then learn some gardening skills along the way. So those are our needs,、um, challenges. I would say 
managing the the lineups is is has been a, a constant challenge um we you know but we we have made progress um back when we started the the lineups were about an hour long like people would wait almost like an hour or hour and a half but now i think it's uh we've cut that down to almost like half um or sometimes you don't even have to wait if you are choosing mm-hmm. the express hamper option because that also we that was something we started uh in response to the pandemic and um for people who are anxious or who cannot stand in the lineups they can just let staff know and uh you know choose to to pick up a hamper that staff themselves put together so it has everything and you know just come in and and leave so um mm-hmm. our home deliveries that has also um increased like it has tripled in fact so a lot of people are still anxious they they um they're having you know they they just don't want to come to the food bank so or or they must be quarantining uh, a lot of people mm-hmm. are also quarantining so they have also requested home delivery so um we are doing a lot of home delivery so that's why we 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 could use some extra volunteer drivers um you know who can help deliver um food to people's houses yeah um, so yeah. yeah that so that's uh a, i would say a challenge you yeah. know um managing volunteers and managing the the client lineups uh, and you know the increase in need because the need seems to be increasing every month yes unfortunately yeah, yeah. compared to when we last met i'm sure the needs is much bigger and the challenges mm-hmm. on we had a, uh since last year we had 49% increase in new registration so there was like a lot of new yeah people who registered for food bank uh, services what we also did um in 2020 was allowed people to sign up online so um you know making that first connection with the food bank is always harder for people so we thought okay you know people are comfortable with with doing something behind the screen so um we we opened up the online registration on our website so that also helped um you know helped us reach out um to people who who may be struggling or you know and and could be um in need so yeah that, i think i'm sure that that, that will be very helpful Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so um I, I know food bank is a daily operation because people need to eat every day right but uh for 2021 for the rest of this year uh can you share some upcoming new project that the food bank is planning um yeah one of the project that i'm personally excited about is um our new freezer or a walk-in freezer that um we will we are in the process of of installing so we had a walk-in cooler and then a smaller freezer but then that freezer was uh was at its capacity so we have uh, we had applied for another grant and um, it got funded and now we uh, we have another walk-in freezer that will allow us to recover extra um items like meat and frozen vegetables and um that we can you know mm-hmm. share with our with our clients so it's a great is, news that That's is great. an exciting project and um there is another project that we are working on it's the uh um emergency it's it's a it's through another grant through Richmond Community Foundation and uh it is the uh, uh connecting food systems in Richmond so a lot of organizations because of covid they have um had to do a, a mission drift or they had to um include food assistance as part of their programming so um we are hoping to to have all these organizations um you know come together and and um and share best practices mm-hmm. and see how we can serve our people better and um identify any gap so that nobody in Richmond um goes hungry. Right, right. Oh, that's wonderful. So there are more partnership in the community. Mm-hmm. I'm glad mm-hmm. to hear that. So, so so nobody is is um 
starting from scratch like th there are resources available and if, if if one person is doing something and if they don't have volunteers you know uh, the other organization might have volunteers right so so just sharing resources and and making sure that um, our, our mission or our mandate of, of serving people who are hungry is, is fulfilled mm. well we definitely we will be praying for the program and the staff at the Richmond Food Bank so Please, thank you so much keep us in your prayers yeah, so thank you so much for sharing the needs and challenges, Ajira. So we will look forward to share with you more about what we are doing in our Richmond uh, Reaching Out campaign later on. So thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah, Ajira is Executive Director of Richmond Food Bank at Richmond, BC. Thank you.